Good evening. This is Bell Geode, and we are back with some more Skyrim VR, and we're back in Maslea. So we are in the shack of the Brotherhood, which is in the um, southern part of the main island of Maslea. We're over by the brickyards where we were the last episode. And it is now the next morning. So as you can see, I put out some sleeping bags for everyone because there's really only one bed here. Only I could fit in it. And technically, I actually wanted that bed to be Carlina's, but Carlina decided she wanted to sleep on the floor. I guess she's trying to ingratiate herself to us. And I noticed that sword there last night. Oh, that's stealing. But the damage is low anyway. <coughs> Évitez les gardes par ici. La justice relève plus du comique que d'autre chose. Oh, so you are awake. Well, then, in that case, why don't you get up? Qu'est-ce qu'il y a, mon frère? It's time to wake up. All right, I'll be ready momentarily. Um, she did say something to me last night. Do you see that little bottle in the corner, Mundaka? We had gotten that, if you recall, in that one cave that uh, we had to do the quote-unquote initiation trial. It turns out that Mundaka is the drugs of Maslea. I don't know all the details of it, like I didn't try it or anything like that, but uh, according to Carlina, it's pretty highly addictive, so we definitely don't want to go down that road. All right, let's uh, go outside because it's feeling a little cramped in here. Uh, ladies, how about you all follow me, please? Thank you. Now, you'll also notice that Carlina does not show up in my EFF, my extensible follower framework, because she's not a true custom follower in the same way that Ali, Tanya, and Gita are. But she is still following me, so once we go outside, she should be there. At least, I think. Did I set you to wait? Let's find out. No, you do not say wait. Okay. Good morning, Carlina. Let's go outside. Okay, we're going to hit the road. Okay, another beautiful morning here in Maslea. Actually, I'm noticing more clouds now than we had yesterday, so I'm wondering if it's going to rain. That'd be kind of cool if they uh, coated in like some tropical thunderstorms and all that stuff. I mean, I have no doubt that they probably did, but that'll be cool to see. All right, so what are we doing today? Now, no doubt you recall, we did get that quest from the lady in the house over there with her husband in a coma. It's not looking good, folks. It's really not looking good, but I figured we'd help her out because we said we would, and it's kind of apparently what the Alessian Brotherhood does. So, yeah, here we go. All right, so let's pop open the quest log. And that is under Echoes of War. So I've, I've accepted to help Olivia and her husband. His journal indicates that one of his former brothers-in-arms was named Asphelios, and had a girlfriend called Yulia. If I find him, I may be able to gather more information on what happened in Perislea. So we've got to find Asphelios. It so happens that it kind of ties in to the main quest, chapter one, The Mysterious Elf. We've reached the southern part of Maslea. We need to investigate to discover who ran the clandestine mine on Kalia Island. Carlina advised me to look for the Burgomaster, who I'm assuming is like the leader of Palisul, west of here. That's where we need to go to see if we can find this Asphelios as well. So the two of them will come together, so to speak. All right, so that's the plan, man. Oh, before we go, I should show you my new outfit. I decided to put it on late last night, and I'm like, hey, that's not bad looking. That is not bad looking at all. So, yeah, actually, let me... um. Let me try it again so that you can get a better look-see. But yeah, look at that. Except, of course, for the ridiculous helmet, which I like to wear because I can breathe underwater with it. But yeah, cool beans. I kind of like it. Now, 
The thing with this armor is I don't really know how strong it is. So let me let me just check that real quick here. You can see I still have my Crimson Archer stuff and it's almost no comparison. Look at that, 28 on armor. I don't know if I can upgrade this, so we'll have to see if we can find uh, some kind of armor bench or something along those lines. But yeah, Alessian Brotherhood boots, Alessian Brotherhood gloves, and Alessian Brotherhood light armor. Now, if I find that I'm really getting my butt kicked, I will switch it back to the Crimson Archer outfit. But hopefully, we should be fine. All right, folks, uh, let's get going. We will need to check the map to see where it is that we have to go, but I'm kind of looking around to see if maybe there is an armor improvement thingy around here. Doesn't look like there is. I don't see anything. Hmm. Really isn't much in this town. Oh wait, no, there it is, there it is. See, I'm, I was sure that I saw something. No, that's an ore. Wait, does this not function as an armor improvement thingy? What in the hell? There's another one on the other side. I wonder if that's the same thing. Yeah, sure enough. Excuse me, Gita, you're in the way. <coughs> well, that sucks. How am I supposed to improve my armor if none of these armor improvement benches work? That's really sucky. Oh, and apparently there's the island that we were on for um, the initiation and whatnot. There's that little tower that we were on top of. And on the opposite side, there is the cave that they dumped us off in. Or more to the point, they dumped me off. And the girls just happened to get teleported there because you know how I roll. All right, so Lady's in her house with her comatose husband. And I really don't see anything. Oh wait, maybe, maybe we can go in here. Yeah, no, this is still the same exact building as before. Okay, yeah, there's nothing in here that we need. Sorry girls, I brought you in here for no apparent reason. Okay, well, I guess I'll have to live with the outfit as is until we can find some kind of armor improvement thingy. In the meantime, let's go walking. There's a little waterfall that we took the pictures of yesterday. I'm probably going to use the picture that we took yesterday as the title screen for today. But yeah, I really can't get over all the vegetation and everything that they put in this. This is actually quite cool. All right, let's see what we got on the signpost here. So we got Bell XT in that direction. I have no idea what a Bell XT is. Maslea Ville, which I'm assuming is the village of Maslea as opposed to the city of Maslea. And Palisul, I don't know how to pronounce that, but we're gonna go with that. And that's all in this direction. Okay. And I'm assuming that is the walls of the city, which we were advised not to go into unless we have a pass. All right, so let's do a quick save and we'll head out. All right, so it looks like there's some kind of stable up ahead. interesting looking road. So far I haven't seen like any carriages or anything like that, but with my luck, the Maslayans probably all drive cars. Yeah, it certainly does look like they may have horse-drawn carriages here. Hmm, interesting. You can see the back side of the city there. It's actually really picturesque, and I'm glad that I also have the HD textures because when I was originally thinking about uh, doing the playthrough of this mod, I tried it without the HD textures, and yeah, it really wasn't doing it for me. Excuse me there, guard. Morning. I suppose we could probably go in there, but no, I don't feel like it. All 
Alright, so what have we here? What is this? I love all these little nondescript brick buildings. We have no idea what any of this stuff is. Gilios Farm. Okay. Well, we definitely don't want to bother Gilios, so let's head over this way. Ah, there's the stable. All right, well, we'll at least open up the stable area. I love all these little flowers. There's ground clutter and stuff. That's pretty neat. I don't see anyone at the stables. I just see the horses around. And holy crap, is that a duck? I think that's a duck. It is a duck. Holy crap, there's ducks. There are ducks, Gita. Ducks. That's so neat. It's some of the silliest things that I get excited about. Nice looking horses, too. Alright, uh, let's check the map here. Oh, it's doing that thing again with my uh, map icons. Every now and then it does that, where the map icons disappear and leave like this little blue thing. I have no idea what the hell is causing it. Alright, so where exactly is the map marker? I can't really tell. It does not say. Alright, let's do this. Let's go to that. And show on map. Can't show on map. Why not? That's interesting. It won't show it on the map. Alright, well we know we can't go into the city, which is clearly up there, walled off. So, maybe we can continue heading west. There is some kind of settlement there. I'd be willing to bet that might be the village we're looking for, or the town we're looking for, because it certainly does look like it's town size. There's another little villa there. Okay, we'll have to do some investigating. All right. Holy crap, what the hell is going on over there? There is a house on fire. Wait. Are they worshipping the house on fire? No, they're applauding. Why are they applauding for the house being on fire? Okay, that seems shady as all get out. Yeah, sure enough. The house is on fire, and they're just clapping for it. Girls, something's not right. Let's see if any of these guys want to talk to me. Discover what happens in the burning farm. Okay, yeah, we, we definitely have a problem here. You! What are you doing here? What's that damn question? Go take a long walk off a short pier and let us do our work. Excuse you? Who do you think you're talking to, sir? We're burning a damn Rujic witch who offends the one with her Daedric practices. Do you have something to say? Wait. Are there people in there? You're burning people alive? Daedric, I... Okay, so I can only assume you're burning elves, then, is what I'm getting. You may want to quit that now, or you're going to regret it, buddy. What a phony we have here. Uh, come on, guys, let's teach this disbeliever a lesson. Oh, no, sir, you don't want to do that. You do not want to do that. That's a bad idea. That is a really bad idea, buddy. And I'm going to teach you just how bad an idea it really is. No, sir. There's no yielding. 
Well done indeed. Allie, you hit your sister again. What's up with that? Let's see what these guys had on them. Maslay and money, $5. I'll take it. Small harpoon. Wow, they've got some funky weapons here. Should I take it? I'm going to take it. I don't need your monk robes, however. Spiked club. And no, I haven't forgotten that that house is on fire and there are more than likely elves inside. Okay, girls, hang out here just in case any more of those crazy monks come back. I'm gonna go inside with Carlina and we'll see who we can find in here. Carlina, front and center, please. I realize everybody's still in slow motion because it's processing the order for them to wait. All right, let's go inside and see what's going on in here. Oh, it's very burny in here. Almost feel like my eyes should be watering here in VR. This is crazy. I don't see anybody, but there is a basement. How much you want to bet they're in the basement? Am I hungry? We're not worried about food right now. There's people to save. Oh, crap. Hello, lady. What are you doing? Who are you? You're not with Of course we're not with them. Come on. We got to get you the hell out of here. Wow, that that flame is just I, I, that's doing a number on me. Guide us, stranger. We're too weak to leave this house alone. Okay, well, calm the hell oh, on. Okay. Carlina, come on, let's go. Okay, where is your little kid? Where is the little kid? There's the little kid. Okay, let's go. All right, did we all make it out? I see a mother, I see a child, I see Carlina. Okay, let's um, let's get away from this house. That would probably be a good idea. Girls, you can follow me again, please. I don't know how to thank you. We would have been burned or buried alive without your help. No, you'd have been burned alive is what would have happened. I like your outfit, by the way. Why did those guys want to hurt you anyway? You don't know the Valinian Order? They intimidate everyone, especially the elves who don't share their stupid beliefs. Oh, it's about religion, ain't it? And race. The Republic pretends to oppose them, but they do nothing. I guess they don't hate them that much. Huh. Well, that's not good at all. I'd love to be able to reward you, stranger, but I've lost everything today. Don't worry about it, lady. This one's on us. Everybody gets one. If you need my help someday, come find me at the inn in Palacio. I'm forever in your debt. Okay, you just take care of your kid and watch out for any crazy-ass monks. Mix Pantawa, stranger. May the cash file princess something, something, something. I missed it. Okay. Good luck out there. Uh, good luck to you too, lady. All right, kid. I guess you live to see 11. That was crazy. That was totally crazy. So what do we do in a situation like this, Carlina? Do we leave the bodies here just to rot in the sun? Or I don't know what you all do. Do you like report it to the police? Or, or you probably don't even have police here. Come on, let's go. I'm going to save while I'm at it. OK, she did say something about it being noon. Uh, it is 11.45 not quite noon so I don't see any place where we could even stop and eat anyway and by the way that little beacon there sometimes uh, the map bugs out whenever it does that thing with the map icons we have that going on the only real way to fix it is to completely get out of Skyrim and get back in which it's really not that critical for the purposes of recording this video so we'll just continue on 
and we'll check all the beautiful scenery. I gotta say, I think they went overboard on the design of this place, and overboard in a good way. See, I'm looking at this here, and this, to me, looks like a wheat field. And I'm pretty sure that's exactly what it's meant to be. But it kind of has that Caribbean vibe, you know, with the sugarcane plantations. Of course, sugarcane is what they use to make sugar and, of course, rum. But, yeah, it's really neat to see all the effort that they put into this. Look, at there's some kind of yellow bird there. Nice. Sunflowers. You know, I love when I can recognize stuff, too. That's just awesome. All right, what is this? Apparently, this is a point of interest. Let's check it out. And the architecture. I've made no secret on this channel. Uh, when I was in college, that was my first major, was architecture. So I'm definitely a sucker for buildings. Temple of Moray House. Well, it's in disrepair. And from what I know about Mora House, just reading up on some of the mythos of this area, I guess you would say, or just Elder Scrolls in general, Mora House was a winged minotaur. What was that noise? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? I don't think that was the cat. Unlocked door requires key. Okay, well, we don't have said key. Huh. And what is over here? I'm definitely hearing noises. I'm not going crazy. I know I'm hearing noises. And it's nothing that's going on in my real life room. There's some water. Yeah, there's somebody working on something. Wear this armor proudly, brother. Thank you, Carlina. Thank you. I still need to get it upgraded, so before this day is done, we're going to need to see if we can find an armor upgrade thingy, because if I'm going to dress like you, I'm going to at least have some decent stats for protection here. As I'm sure you do with yours. Probably all gave me the bargain basement one. I don't want to sound like I'm ungrateful or anything like that, but, you know, these people, their methods leave a little bit to be desired, let's just say. Or, if we want to put it another way, they're shady. Oh, there's a kid. Oh, wait, is that the kid? No, that looks like a human kid. You know what? Let's check over here. Maybe they have an armor thingy over here. Nice window. And this, I think, is where they're working on whatever that is. Yeah, this is definitely a wheat farm. This lady grinding. And look it! We've got piggies! Well, Carlina, you were saying something about lunch. Looks like lunch to me. Bacon anyone? No, I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. We're not we're not going to sacrifice the pigs here. Hi lady. I almost don't want to interrupt you. Um, girls, let's get the heck out of their way. Hey kid. Hello, sir. Aurelius. Hi. Um, do you hold the farm here? Why am I asking if you're holding a farm? Looks like you're holding nothing. You won't talk to me. Well, let's try that again then. Do you hold the farm here? Yes, I'm supplying the city of Palisale with flour for bread. I'm one of the last small farmers here. Interesting, why are your eyes so red? Are you growing more than just wheat here? My ancestors have worked this field since very ancient times, but I'll probably have to sell it soon, as late as possible at least. Wait, why are you selling your farm? 
I feel like we're missing out on some information here. Why, why do you need to sell your farm? Is there a quest I can do to help you so you don't have to sell your farm? There's nothing else. Good day. Good day to you. Uh, maybe this elf dude can help me. Hello, worker. Nothing. Not even a hello. Okay. Until next time. Oh, now you talk. All right, then. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with those two. All right. Um, I do not see anything having to do with armor enhancement around here. Yeah, that's all wheat. It's all wheat over here. And whatever that is that they're growing that's making the eyes red. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm not trying to say all the people here are shady, but there's some strange goings on. Hello, Aniela. I assume you're his wife. You're coming to buy some flour? No, I am not. I was actually going to ask you if you knew where an armor upgrade thing... I forget the actual name for it. I'm just drawing a blank today. But clearly you do not, because you're saying about my ship, which is not this mod. It's my ship mod, the Ocean Saber, which I've explained in the previous few videos. All right, well, clearly we're not going to find anything here that'll help us. So we're going to continue heading west. And there is an icon for a village up ahead, so we'll have to check that out. All right, onward and upward. And for some strange reason, my touch controls are still kind of acting up. No clue what's causing that. Thinking it might be time for new Oculus touch controllers. All right, uh, according to the icon and according to the walls, I'm thinking this may be the place that we're looking for. Oh, I love it. A little bit of shade here. This is awesome. Yeah, I definitely love the forests, the jungles, I guess. You can see why I'm so fascinated with this mod, even though there are definitely some areas of improvement for it. It's drop dead gorgeous. It's different from like Beyond Skyrim or Worms Tooth or any of those other mods. But it certainly does have a really cool feel to it. Especially in VR. This must be the place we're looking for. All right, quick save. All right. Welcome to Palusia. Maybe, possibly. gotten the little message yet. Ah, yes! We are in Palace Wheel. Nice! And... What or who are you? Okay, there is absolutely nothing shady about you, lady. Savila. Okay, by virtue of the fact that you're named, I'd be willing to bet you probably got a quest for us. What is that? Uh... I don't know what that says. Le joyo value... I can't tell what letters those are at the bottom. But it's got to be something having to do with whales, I imagine. Yeah. Not a good font. Ooh! Is this a job board? Holy crap! Carlita says, if Arshani come here and burn the crops, the capital will fall immediately. Okay, so are we going to be the ones to fight these Arshani, or are we leaving that up to the Republic? Because you said there's only 10 Brotherhood members per area. I don't think 10 of us are going to hold off any Arshani army. I'm just saying. And especially if our good buddy, the guy with the coma, 
was one of the victims of the Arshani. Oh, he is dead, dead. Okay, so apparently they don't do beheadings here. They do hangings. Because that man has been hanged by the neck until he is dead. I suppose you have a name. Yes, you do. Lucerios Guard. I don't suppose you can tell me what's going on. Newspapers say there are dragons in Skyrim. How stupid do they think we are? Yeah, it's that liberal media, man. I don't know what to tell you. See you. See you. Edril Seven. Okay, we'll talk to you in a minute. It looks like you might be a mage, so I might actually need your assistance at some point in time. Uh, let's keep exploring because I'm really having a ball looking at Palace Sail here. What is this? Udfrig de Bruma? Oh, is that a Nord? Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I think I can figure out what that says. There's an arena here. And apparently this Udfrig is from Bruma. Which is ironic, considering the series that we just finished up. Arena, or Arena du Circulon, or Circulion. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm sorry, I'm bad with French. Hello, Oxstara. I'm guessing that is a church to St. Alessia. Judging from the diamond thing, which, from my understanding, is part of the, um, what do they call that? The Pendant of Kings or something like that? It's something to do with the actual leadership of Cyrodiil and the reason why it's called the Ruby Throne and all of that good jazz there. Because Alessia was like the first empress of Cyrodiil. So, yeah, there's a lot of history steeped up in that. It's all fascinating stuff that I'm still learning a lot about now. Oh, I love it. They've got their little socks here on the clothesline. Axedia's building. Okay, well, we don't want to bother Axedia. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. But this is kind of cool. I like this. I really like this. All right, so I guess the real question is, are we going to see the Burgomaster first, or do we continue hunting around town and see if we can find this Asphelios? I'm going to go outside of town here just to kind of see what we've got. Looks like they're building a house over there. I love that there's trees all up in the mountains and stuff. Okay, yeah, this is definitely the edge of town. Um... Who's bumping me? Both of you. All right, let's head back into town here and then we'll figure out what we're gonna do momentarily. I kinda wanna go into the church. I kinda wanna see what's in the church or why there's a guy standing in front of it. Hello, sir. I own a little quarry out of the town. Doesn't pay much, but it's better than... Okay. Bonjour. Oh, I could buy stone from you. Oh, that's cool. I'm thinking back to the first time we got to Aventina Island, where it said something about stone and brick and wood and all of that. So that might come in handy, but that's the only thing that I can do with you. All right, so I'll keep you in mind, merchant man. Okay, Temple of Palisade. Let's see what we got inside. Okay, again, I'll keep that in mind. I'm sure we will patronize your business really soon. Buddy, we got it. Thanks. Well, looks like we're just in time for service. I'm not a very religious person, and I don't know anything about this uh, Alessian cult or what have you, but I suppose we could probably chill here and take it all in. Wait. You're Yulia. Hello. 
Yulia. Listen, I know you've never met me before, but do you know where I can find a certain Asphelios? As who? Uh, no, I have no idea who you're talking about. Okay, I believe you, Yulia. Are you sure? I've heard he had a girlfriend named Yulia, who was supposed to look exactly like you, which is a total bluff because they never told us what Yulia is supposed to look like. So that's it, is it? You wish to kill him too, so no one will ever find out about what happened? Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down, lady. Nobody said nothing about killing you. I'm warning you, I will not allow you to do it. What are you gonna do? You got daggers hiding in your dress or something? Calm down, I don't wanna hurt him. I also don't wanna tell you calm down because that's a bad idea typically to tell anybody to calm down. But seriously, I just need to talk to the dude. So you're not with the guards? Lady, do I look like a guard? Do these ladies look like guards? Look, Asphelius is my husband, Vexillo. Wait, the guy we just met? He had to change his name to stay out of trouble. What? So the guy we just spoke with is the guy I'm looking for. Seriously? And yeah, I'm not going to tell anybody about this. I just want to talk to the guy, but it is important. Very well, do as you'd like. Okay. Well, thank you, Yulia. That was a lot easier than I expected. And I really like your outfit, by the way. It's a very nice outfit. Oh, wait a minute. You're in here. You were just out there. What am I missing? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't go anywhere. So it's you, Stone Man. We need to talk. Relax. I'll tell you the same thing I told Julia. Or, excuse me, Julia. I don't mean any harm. If I'm not mistaken, you fought alongside a dude by the name of Galivius in the Republican Guard, correct? All that's behind him doesn't want to talk about it. Okay, well, listen. Galivius is a victim of some sort of curse. I really, really need your help. I promised his wife that I would try and see if I could heal him. Même s'il est vivant, il est condamné. Moi-même, je m'en suis sorti de justesse. Je veux plus rien avoir à faire avec tout ça. Okay, well, can you at least tell me what the hell it is I'm supposed to be doing here? Like, I don't even know what I'm looking for. I just know that the dude has some kind of Daedric things tattooed on him. Quoi? Qu'est-ce que vous voulez? Okay, well, it doesn't look like we can persuade him, so let's give him some money. I desperately need this information. How about 574 gold pieces? This info better be good. Yeah, I fought alongside Galivius at the Battle of Perislea. What do you wish to know? Okay, now we're getting somewhere. So, Galivia seems to be suffering some strange Daedric curse, as I mentioned to you about three minutes ago. Do you know anything about such things? Oui, bien sûr. Tous les survivants de la bataille le savent. Okay. Ce jour-là, nous étions trois fois supérieurs aux Archani, en nombre et en matériel. Nous étions solidement retranchés dans Perosléa, le moral au beau fixe. Mm. Ils ont attaqué à l'heure prévue, à l'endroit prévu. Mais ils avaient avec eux une de ces femmes prêtresses, celles dont ils parlent dans leur vieille légende. Priestess. C'est toujours pas exactement ce qui s'est passé ce jour-là. Tout ce que je sais, c'est qu'à l'arrivée de ces sauvages, le ciel s'est coloré en rouge sang. Wait, blood red sky. Des choses qu'on ne peut pas décrire avec des mots. Beaucoup se sont évanouis. D'autres sont devenus fous et ont commencé à attaquer leurs camarades. C'était un vrai bain de sang. Les Archani ont eu la victoire facile. So they use magic. Le dieu s'effondrait à côté de moi, j'ignorais qu'il était encore en vie. Je fais partie des rares qui ont eu la chance de pouvoir s'enfuir ce jour-là. Aujourd'hui, je suis considéré comme un déserteur. C'est pour ça que j'ai dû changer de nom. En plus, la garde républicaine cherchait à étouffer l'affaire. Très peu de gens sont revenus de la bataille en état de témoigner. Et entre nous, je ne pense pas que ce soit du seul fait des elfes. Alors, j'essaie de faire profil bas. Huh. That's some pretty heavy-duty stuff, especially with the Republican Guard trying to cover it up. 
what's up with all of that? Okay, but how about yourself? You haven't suffered from this curse the same way he has. What's up with that? Si, bien sûr. J'ai passé des mois et des mois à faire des cauchemars. Oh, I stand corrected. Moi, plus. J'ai perdu la moitié de mon poids. Heureusement, ma femme a pu trouver un elfe disposé à lever la malédiction. Un certain Nartexi de Belletsi. Je ne sais pas ce que ça donnera pour okay. Il doit être dans un état encore plus grave. Mais à votre place, je commencerai par là. So, Bel Exi is the name of the place where this guy Narxi lives. All right. So it looks like we've got to see an elf in order to lift the curse to help Galivios. All right. Thank you very much for the information. And I promise your secret stays with us. We're not going to rat you out to the Republican Guard or anything. De rien. J'espère que vous réussirez. Galivios est un type bien. J'espère qu'il s'en sortira. So do I. For his wife's sake. And we'll be back to talk about that stone later. Hey, look at that. You know, I never noticed the mural of Saint Alessia. She's a fascinating character. A really fascinating character. Hello there, preacher man. What are you up to? May the one bless you. Well, as long as the one is Saint Alessia, she can bless me any day. Listen, are you the priest here? Why am I asking obvious questions? I have no idea. But are you the priest here? By the one, you're such an observant person. I know, aren't I? I suppose you're not from here. I operate in Palasul for the Arcana, the official church of Maslea. I like the name, Arcana. I teach the Alessian faith as it was defined by our theologians across the centuries. I guess some things may irritate continents or continentals like you quite a bit. That said, you're free to believe whatever you want as long as you respect the Arcana's rights and its status of official religion whenever you're here. I got nothing to do with your religion, man. What, what, what are you talking about? Um, what are you doing here aside from giving a sermon? I'm just asking all the pointed questions today. Me? I run a hairdressing salon. Isn't it obvious? I had that coming, buddy. I had that coming. I don't know why... That was even an option. I'm a priest of the Arcana. If you have more questions of this type, I warn you. I have no time to waste. Okay. Okay. I don't even want to ask what's the Arcana, but let's go ahead and do that. By the one, you could inquire before barging in here anyway. There's no sign on the door that tells me what an Arcana is. The Arcana is the official church of the Maslea. Okay. It was created by General Theros in the early years of the First Empire. Okay. You will come across loads of minor Alessian sects in the archipelago, but only the Arcana has the status of a religion and the power to state the true doctrines. Well, that's dangerous. If you're interested, there are some booklets on the subject. I don't have the time. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. I appreciate you taking the time to fill me in, even though I ask stupid questions, and I know it. One last question. Do you have any work for somebody like me? Well, perhaps. Have you seen the ruins on the road while you came here? There's a very old monastery of the Order which dates back to the Second Era. As a matter of fact, yeah, the Mar House thing. I did see that. Recently, some men from the State University came there to do some research, but it didn't end very well. Oh? What do you mean it didn't end very well? A room full of living dead. Oh, no. Of course, a real servant of the one can't accept such monstrosities near our little village. Of course, nobody likes Draugr, man. I get it. I get it. So you want me to go over there and clean up the mess. Thankfully, we can do this. We're used to this. Where we come from, we do this all the time. Every day, even. Well, yes, this would be very useful to us, and you'll be rewarded, of course. You just said the magic words, buddy. Rewarded. I'm in. I'll go. Perfect. Take those keys. Ruins have been sealed to avoid any incident. Oh. Well, that's convenient. Come back once you've done the job and may, may Saint Alessia bless you. Um, okay. Thank you. And there's the key for the temple that we passed on the way here. All right. No more dumb questions. I'm out. Peace, preacher man.
Let's go before he starts asking us to, like, give tithings and all of that crap. Ugh, why is my touch controller still acting up? I'm having difficulty moving. Carlina? It's starting to get closer to dinner time. We should probably find some place to eat. And then we can stop off at the Burgomaster after. Oh yeah, it is definitely evening time. Yulia, is that you? No, you are... Silva. Okay, well, Silva is high styling. I notice that there is definitely some fashion going on in this place. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. All right, um, I suppose they have an inn, right? We'll probably just check these buildings here. That's Augusto's house. That is definitely not an inn. How about... That just says building. Okay. Well, I'm not going in anything that's so nondescript as to be called building. That's probably a bad sign. Oh, you know what? The inn is probably this place right here. And this lady is still standing by the wall. You've been standing next to this wall literally all day, and I notice you've got a whole bunch of tattoos. I don't think I want to ask what your profession is. Pretty sure it's not wench. At least not in the traditional Skyrim sense of the word wench. <sighs> All right, Tavern of the Happy Whalers. Oh, so that's what it means. That's what it means. Okay, it all makes sense now. Let's go in. Wait, are you the lady from the place? Hello, friend. You are the lady from the place. Oh, where's your kid? There he is. Hey, kid. Good evening. Good evening. I'm glad you made it here safely. That is awesome. All right, um, girls, we need to find a good place to just kind of sit down and chill because I think, I think we've done enough for the day here. So, Allie, I'm going to use you as a guinea pig and tell everybody to relax. And while I'm waiting for you to parse that command, we'll go ahead and put the light helmet back on because it's nighttime. And I am going... Tanya, get off the table. Oh my God, you haven't even had anything to drink yet. Here, have a seat. I wasn't planning on sitting there at all. And there's no other chair that I can sit there with you. Oh, nice painting. Oh. Yes? Yes. Hello, lady. Hiera. You kind of look like a Nord. Kind of far from home, if you are. Welcome to the Happy Whalers Inn. What can I do for you? Is this your inn? Yes, it used to belong to my father. I've always loved working here. And even if this town is a hole, I will not leave it for anything in the world. Why is this town a hole? You're going to explain that part to me, right? Or not. Just ask if you need anything. Okay, well, as a matter of fact, I could probably get some food. Take a look. All right. What do you have? Horker loaf? I'm used to that. I didn't see any horkers on any of these islands, though. Kiwis? Ooh, they've got kiwi fruit, except they're not as fuzzy as I remember them in real life. Whale meat? Basically, larger version of horker. And zucchini restores five points of health, has been used by some people as an emoji. All right, how about I sell you some food? Because we come from a foreign land and there's all different stuff that we eat that you might not eat. For example, charred skeever hide. I'm going to sell that to you. It's real tasty with cheese. Cheap wine, I'm going to sell that to you. Some ever popular IDAR cheese wheels, I'm going to sell those to you as well. You're not getting my fondue, but you will get the goat cheese wedge. And we'll give you some gourds. Oh, and this is a specialty from Morrowind. You're going to love this one. It's called Grief. Try not to drink too much at once, otherwise, it will live up to the name and you will be in a lot of grief. Grilled leeks. A staple in Skyrim, we'll sell that to you. And home-cooked meal, Tanya made these. I keep these because, honestly, this is really what I eat, and I'm not selling that to you. If I did, Tanya would kill me. 
Oh, and here, have some hunting brew meat. It's okay. All right, well, clearly she doesn't have anything that I really want. Oh, I'll give you this hyena meat. Don't ask me why I have hyena meat. Just go with it. All right, meat pies. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Okay, thank you, lady. I appreciate your hospitality. We're gonna hang out here for a while. I do notice you don't have a way for us to purchase a room or a bed. So we'll have to think about where we're gonna stay tonight. Oh, it's that lady again. All right, well, we're gonna hang out here for the evening. So while everybody is figuring out where exactly they are going to stay in the grand scheme of things, I'm gonna plant myself on this stool. All right. Ugh. Apparently I didn't plant myself well enough. Excuse me, guard. Good Lord, you too, Carlina. I just wanna sit. That's all I want is to sit. And what in the hell is she doing? Is she doing Kung Fu? You know what? I'm gonna sit over here. All right, so that'll do it for the time being. So we got half of our mission accomplished here. We met up with Asphelios and we got a lead on an elf that we're gonna need to talk to. And he is in a completely other direction. So the next thing that we're gonna need to do is we're going to need to find and talk to the Burgomaster. We'll do that in the next episode. But for now, I'm just gonna plant my butt right here and we are gonna hang out for the night. So thank you as always for watching. This has been Bell Geode. I have been playing Skyrim VR. And we are running through the mod Republic of Maslea. Links or list of everything that I'm using is in the video description below. Tanya, why are you helping her cook? We're not getting paid for that. Sheesh. If you enjoy what you've seen, please feel free to give me a like and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And when next we return for Skyrim Sunday, looks like we've got a date with the Burgomaster. Kid, stop teleporting. <laughs> Alrighty, folks. I'll talk to you all soon. Ciao.